Okay. Today we're going to continue with multiplying using distributive properties. We're going to work on page 65. We're going to continue talking about that. But before, we are going to practice something. We're going to practice something about this topic. So let me share those links. Open it. So we're going to practice together. Right now, I'm not going to share the link. We're going to work together. So let's review the topic of yesterday. Okay, here we have it. For example, number one, we have six times 18. Using the distributed property, we remember distributed property that you have it on page 63, it says, multiplying a sum by a number is the same as multiplying each atom by the number and then adding the price. That is the steps that we follow when we are multiplying using the distributed property. So we have six times 18, that is our multiplication using the distributed property. Now, we have six times, so we're going to break this number, number 18, we're going to break number 18 into two numbers that we can add then and get 18. Who can tell me two numbers that you add and get 18? Two numbers, two numbers that you add, and the answer is 18. A plus. 10 plus eight. 10 plus eight, that's right. So I'm going to write here 10, okay, plus eight. 10 plus eight equals 18, right? If you add then, I'm going to write it down here. 10 plus eight. The answer, what is the answer of this? It's 18, 18 right? Equal 18. 18. So we're going to use, yes, 10 plus eight, but we can have different, Colette, do you have a different numbers that we can add and get 18? Yes. Yes, which one? 17. 17. Uh, 17. Plus, eight. plus one, plus one. Plus one, yeah, 17 plus one, it's equal. 18, that's right, but we're going to use that first one. If you can start thinking about two numbers, we're going to get it. You can think about nine plus nine, right? Equal 18, but we're going to use number one that you cause me say, 10 plus eight. Now, using the distributive property, it states that we multiply six times 10, so we're going to multiply first this, six times 10, and then later, we're going to multiply Six times eight. So let's start with six times eight. So I'm going to write six times eight, 10, sorry, six times 10, and six times eight is here. We have this, six times 10 plus six times eight. According to the distributive property, we add the product. Now, what is the answer of six times 10 plus? Six, six, ten. No. 60, 60, 6 times 10 equals 60 plus 6 times 8. 80. 6 times 8. 6 times 8. 48. Hermes, 48. 6 times 8 is 48, right? Now, we're going to add, as you can notice, first we find the two numbers, 18, 10 plus eight equal 18. We multiply six times 10, we write it down here, plus, we copy the plus, six times eight. We multiply six times 10 equals 60. We copy the, the sign plus, six times eight equal 48. Now, what is missing here? We need to add this to products. 60 plus 48 plus, what is the answer of 60 plus 48? 78. No, 60 plus 48. 108. 108, Lucia? No, Khaled. Who has the answer? Of six. Uh, multiplication. 
We're not multiplying, we're adding. Look here, the sign. The sign is plus 60. Is 108. Danny says it's 108. That is the same answer that you have, the Danny and, and Lucia? For, for plus 48. Yeah, 60 plus 48. We add them. 60 plus 48. We add. 60 plus 48, what is yes. the answer of this? Yes, yes. 108. 108. 108. That's right, it's 108. So I write the, co I copy here the answer, 108. That's right. So we have 108, number one. So let me write it down here, the answer 108. Because six times 18, it's 108. I'm going to clear all these drawings. Now let's practice the number two. We have another one here. Five times 76. Five times 76 is the same. We are going to multiply five times. We're going to break this 76. This factor is going to be broken into two numbers. Think about two numbers that you can add and get 76. Two numbers that you can add and get 76. Six equals 76. 70 plus six, that's right. Khaled, do you have a different one? Yes, you have another one. 75 plus one. 75 plus one equals 76, that's right. See, Yan, you have a different one? Um, six T. 60 plus, I don't remember the name. Wait, 60 plus, mm -hmm. 16. 60 plus 16 equals 76, that's right, excellent. So you can start thinking about, you can write 60 here plus 16, and it's okay because 60 plus 16 equals 76. But I copy here 70 plus six, it's okay. So don't forget, when you are using distributive property, we think about one number that we can add and get this of this factor. In this case, 76. Now we have five times 70 plus six. We're going to multiply now. Five times 70, that is going to be the first number that we're going to multiply. Five times 70 plus five times which number? Six. six, that's right. We're going to multiply each of them. First, we multiply five times 70, and then we multiply five times six is what we're doing here. Now, let's write the answer of this multiplication. Five times 70. What is the answer of five times seven? Do you remember that we've multiplied five times seven and we copy the zero? I have the answer. Let me see. Um, 350. 350, Hermes. Excellent. That is the answer, Hermes. Five times seven, you say 35, and you copy the zero. Perfect. Perfect. Congratulations. Now, plus, we're going to add plus five times six. What is the answer of five times six? 30. It's 30. Excellent. Now, what is the answer of 350 plus? We're adding, no multiplying, plus 30. 65. No. 65 plus 30. 65. We're adding. We're adding 350 plus 30. 380. 380, that's right, we multiply, sorry, we add, we add 350 plus 30. You add five, six, seven, eight, and three, that's right. Now let's check the answer. I'm going to click this and let's check the answer. I'm going to click here where it says finish, check the answer and that's correct. They are the answer 10 out of 10, excellent. Now, don't forget, in this case, I use these numbers that Lucia provided, but you can use different number for 18, nine plus nine equal 18. 
as soon as you follow all these steps, the first you think about the two numbers that you can add, you multiply each number by number six in this case, and then you add the product and you get the answer. Now let's check another one. I have another worksheet here that we're going to work. It's again about the distributive property. But what happened here, class? In this, in this, as you can notice, it says match the following equivalent expressions by breaking apart the first factor of each multiplication sentence. So we have before distributed property, this is the multiplication, a normal multiplication, and then using that distributed property. Now, what is the first factor in each one? We identify the first factor is seven, the first factor here is nine, and the first factor in number three is eight. So the number that it's broken, the number that it's broken is the, the one that I circle. That is the one that we use the distributed property. For example, we have seven times three. Which one of this is the same of having seven times three, but using the distributed property? Take a look at them. One, two, or three. This one, one, two, or three. Using the distributed property, this number seven, it's breaking into two numbers. It's broken into two numbers that we add. Is that two? That two? two? Yes. Why number two, Gabriela? Because it's the same answer at seven multiply three. That's right. If you add five plus two equal seven, and all these numbers, they are multiplied by three. Excellent. What about this one? Nine times three. Number nine is the first one. That's right. Why number one? Five plus four equals nine. That's right. Remember, we, we think about two numbers. In this case, we have seven and the two numbers. If you add five plus two, equal okay, equal seven, right? And the second one you add. Five plus four equals equal nine. nine. That's right. And so it oh, means wow. that we multiply five times three and four times three. So it means that eight is going to be which one? The, the, the last one. one. The last one. Why? Oh, because wow. we have four times three and plus four times three is the same of having four plus four wow. equals eight. eight. That's oh, right. Wow. So we multiply. Four times three plus four times three to get the answer of it. Now let's check the answers. Check the answer. They must be correct. That's right. They are the answer. 10 out of 10. Excellent. Why? Because we follow all the steps for the distributed property. Now let's continue practicing. This topic is we need to practice a lot to get it. Yes? Any question or any comment about this uh, this exercise is class? No, Daddy. No? Okay, open your book, page 65. We're going to work on page 65 on the book. You find the page, Miss. You're in the page. Excellent. Yes. So let's start working. As you can notice in your book, you have to find the answer of three times 13, but also it says model the product on the grid. So we need to model. If you have colors, you can use colors. You know, use your pens. It's okay. But if you have colors, it's better because you can color. It looks nice. So first, we're going to model number one, three times 13. I'm going to help you with this one. How can we model this? Remember that number three, it's going to be the total of rows that we have. So I'm going to count, count three rows. I have one, two, and three rows. How many columns I'm going to use? How can we break 13? None. Two numbers None. that you can add and get 13. Oh. 11 plus two. 11 plus two, okay, let's write 11 and two. Okay, I'm going to use with color blue, 11. 
11. Until here it's. Let me count one more time. Okay. Okay, that is going to be with the same color. That's going to be color on blue. And the other one, it's going to be with another color. I'm going to use color. Eleven plus two says. So we're going to use this 11 plus 2 to multiply using the distributive property to find the product of 3 times 11 and 3 times 2. Three times two. So in this way, we can get the answer. We can get the answer. We can write it down here. Three times 11. What is the answer of three times 11? Who knows that answer? Um, I have. You have it? You, you know it, um, Yes. Yes, 39. Answer? Okay, 39 is the complete answer. That's right, excellent. But how do you get that answer? We multiply three times three 11. Ways. Yes, three mm -hmm. times one and three times three. Okay, that's right. And using the distributive property, we multiply three times 11, that it's equal 33. And three times two, what is the answer of three times two? Mm -hmm. No. Five. Five, three times two oh. is five. No, no, six. no, sorry. Six. six. Six, that's right. So, and then we add three plus six, the answer is 39. The answer that Mia provided, so that's right. Excellent. So it's 39. The same way we're going to work in the next one. Class. Let's work by yourself. You can work by yourself this. And um, this is seven, is it 10? In English, in English. 70. It's 70, the answer is 70. How do you get this answer, Mia? You uh, multiply one I... number by one, but we're using the distributive property. Remember that distributive property? Mm. It's breaking the number 14 into two numbers that you can, you can add them and get 14. We have five rows and we're going to draw 14 for the other side. Who can tell me it's two numbers that you add and get 14? Two numbers. 14. 14. Um, no. Number 14. Two numbers that you add and get 14. Seven plus seven. Seven plus seven. Seven plus seven. Okay, I'm going to use that one. Seven oh, plus seven. Two. Mm -hmm. Seven plus seven. So we have seven here. Yes, I have seven here and five. Mm -hmm. So we have seven plus seven equal 14. That's right. So we color with the first seven, five times seven in one color. And we can use the other color, color blue for the other no. side. No. Now, what is the answer of five Please, times I have seven? the answer, 84. 84, five times seven, Mia Valentina? No, 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 the mm -hmm. number three. 
No, we're in number two. Five times seven. What is the answer for five times seven? Three. 35. 35, that's Three, right. Five. five times seven is 35. If you add 35 plus 35, you get 70. That's right. If you add this, 35 plus 35 equal to mm -hmm. 70. And that is Seven. the answer. Excellent. Yes. Tell I me, Kalev. I have a question. Mm, what's our question? Can, can, can draw with color? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. you can use it. You can use color. Color. color that you want. It's okay. You can use another color. I'm using just blue and red, but you can use another color. Use the color that you want. Okay. Now, in the second part, we're going to find the product. In this case, as you can notice, we have just to find the product because we have the model. We can use these models as a guide to write the answer. So find this answer, please, by yourself. Then you're going to give me the answer. I'm going to take the attendance while we're working on this. Ana and Andrea. Present. 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 Camila, Gabriela. Present. Present. Isabella, Chiara. Present. Present. Excellent. Lucia, Mia. Present. Present. Rebecca, Rosa. Present. Present. Perfect. Valerie and Sijan. Present. Present. Great. All the girls are connected. Alberto, Dani. Present. Fernando, Hermes. Present. Great. Joshua, Khaled. Present. Marcelo, Santiago Hernandez. Marcelo, Santiago Hernandez. No. Santiago Hernandez is, Marcelo is not connected. Santiago Chavez? Yes. Yes, right, it's connected. Resting. Thank Mix. you, Santiago. Okay, Mia, do you have the answer of six times? Yes, 84. 84. It's equal 84, that's right. Let me write it down here. In the next, in the siguiente también lo tengo. You have it, but you have to see it in English if you want to share the answer. Yeah, five and the, I have the question four. Oh, wow. 90. It's Equal 90. 90. Mm -hmm. oh. And four times 16, Mia, which answer you have? Wait. I have for 64. 64, okay. We're going to check the answer. Let me know, class, if you have the same answers of Mia. Thank you, Mia. You're welcome. Oh. Yes. 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 You have the same answers of 84, 6 times 14 equal 84? How can we solve this? Remember that we are multiplying here using the blocks. We have 10 blocks, so we have six times 10 in this case, plus we have one, two, three, four blocks. So we multiply six times four to get the answer. So we multiply six times 10, and the answer of that one we add with the answer of six times four. That is it's what it's represented here using the distributed property, six times 10 equals 60 plus six times four, 24. And if we add them, we get 84, 60 plus 24, 84. So that is the answer, that's great. What about five times 18? We multiply, if you use the distributed property, we have here five times 10, if we break it in this way, plus, plus the five times eight, we have eight blocks as ones. So five times eight, if you multiply five times 10, here you have 50 
plus five times eight is 40. So we have 50 plus 40 equal 90. That is the answer. Excellent. Mia Valentina, you raise your hand. Yes, I have the answer with the number six. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, 84. 84, okay, I'm going to write. Thank you, Mia, 84. Later we in check In the either. seven and the eight, I have the answer. The answers of seven and eight. You're okay, fine, yes. you're working All right. so fast. That's number yes. seven, it's 80. 80, and number nine? 170. 170. Okay, let me no, 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 17, pardon, 17. Uh, so how do you pronounce that one? Um, 117. 117. 117, that's right, right. 170. Excuse me, me confundí. <laughs> yes, 170 is 170. 117 yeah. is 117. Yes. Okay, then we have 4 times 16. We multiply, it's the same of having 4 times 10 plus 4 times 6. 4 times 10 equals 40. Here you have 40. And this you have 24. If you have 40 plus 24 equals 64. So that is the answer. Excellent. 64. And then down, you continue multiplying. You can use your pay, uh, different uh, paper. Or you can use a notebook to find 7 times 12. 84, that's right. Four, uh, five times 16 equal 80, that's the answer. And nine times 13, 170. So all the answers are Please. correct. We need to oh. copy the exercise number nine and 10. Nine and 10, okay, we don't have more time, but you can try to work by yourself. Number nine and 10 in page 65, because we don't have time. Yes, we're going to we're going to to wear nine and ten, but we don't have more time because time's over. So let's finish to, tomorrow. We're going to finish nine and ten in the first minutes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Any question about this class? You can work by yourself nine and ten, and tomorrow okay. we check your answers. I finished, Miss. You finished. I finished. Show me your book for your disconnect. Show me okay, your book. Bye. Yes. Okay, Miss, I show you. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for showing your books. Bye bye. See you next class. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, Miss. See you next class. Bye bye. See you next class. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.